Come on. Come on, click that timer. Let's go. 333, come on. 848 on 1028. Feel the fire. Feel the lion of the tribe of Judah. Feel the voice of God rising within the earth. Calling every man, woman, and child born again by the power of God, by the Holy Spirit of the Christ King. Who am I talking to? Glory to God. Activate the faith. Well, it takes a while to get in here, but you can make your way in here. Let's go. Let's manifest. Let's be all things within all things new right now. Glory to God. I give you praise, God. Woo. Break it down. Come on. You got to go through. You got to click that event page now. Everything's so new. Glory to God. Facebook is shook book. Look, look. Come on, Francis. Glory to God. Blessings to you. No more cursings. We come to preach the truth by the Holy Spirit of truth, by the word of truth. Come on, the last book and the first book together now as one. All the books coming together. You know the word? Let's preach the word. Let's put it to a test. Come on, preachers. Test the spirit. It's our time now. Glory to God. We rise in the spirit. I can't help myself. I got to come in here. Glory to God. Fresh oil, fresh fire, fresh baptism of joy, love, peace, help. I speak blessings to anyone that can hear God's voice. For the spirit of the living God is within you. Preaching and teaching the manifestation of God's kingdom on the earth. Like John the Baptist, he prepared the way. The way has already been, already came. His name is Jesus Christ. He's closer than a friend. Sticks closer, come on, than a brother. Glory to God. He's a king of kings and the Lord of lords. He's the light of Judah. He's every word we now speak. For the word of the living God speaks by God's Holy Spirit, holy fire, holy flame, holy breath, holy God, the Christ King, anointed one son, set you all free to know the word of God. Alive speaking with God as God is manifesting himself right now. I come to preach the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me truth by the spirit of truth, by the spirit of the wisdom, of the power of the book that can't be looked shook, of the book of the Holy Scriptures, the Holy Bible, the word of God. Test it out, walk it out on the water of life for the Christ King, anointed one son, set you free to be the living trees of the living life, manifesting the glorification of God. God's word. I come to preach and teach the word of God by the spirit of God alive in everybody in the breath of God that once was and still is alive. Speaking by the voice of the choice vessels of the mind of God by the spirit of God of the Christ King and only one son set you free, me free to be the living tree, the living Christ of the Christ King and only one son. Come on, we the children of the most high God with the Father's breath of the breath of the most high God of the last chosen ones. Glory to God. We are chosen to preach and teach the manifestation of God's kingdom on the earth, within the earth for the earth is my vessel, my body, my body, my mind, my spirit, your body, your spirit, your mind. We one voice and one choice, one life and one breath, one God. Glory to God. We the three in the one of the sun, the new beginnings of the fresh oil and the fresh fire. I come to wrap it and chop it and preach it in everybody's voice and everybody's life. I come to be as I am right now, caught up in the spirit with God. Speaking with the most high God by the preaching and teaching of the mind of God, by the mind and spirit of the one Christ King, the anointed one son, set you free to be a life to see, you'll see. Come on, we come to glorify you and me. Together now, we can do all things with the church on fire. Preaching and teaching by the mind of God, by the Christ King, anointed one son. Woo, come on, we come to shout it out without a doubt. Who am I talking to? Come on, Paula Kelsey. We are the word preachers of the word of God speakers. Come to manifest the best with the line of Judah. Put it to a test. What's in your chest? What's in your mind? What's in your brain? Come on, we're going to turn around upside down. We're going to unite with the fire and the flame. We got the voice of the fire of the spirit of God. We got the word of the Holy Spirit, the Christ King, and only one spirit. The one spirit that once was, still is his word. We speak his word of his breath and his life and his chest. We got the treasure peace of the house of God. We got the treasures of the most high God and the house of grace. We got the grace of the mind of the spirit of God. We're going to preach and teach nothing but the word, but the word on fire, but the baptism of Jesus, the water of life, by the grace of God. I'm going to speak it out. I'm going to shout it out. I'm a flower in the tree and a bird and seed. Don't you need? He's flowing out of me and you. Every word you speak is written down in the Holy Scripture, the Holy Bible, the word of God. Don't take one dot, one place, one dot, nine, one, nine, one face. Glory to God is going to glorify our face together with him. He's coming again, my friends. I hear the sound of the river, Christ King, the anointed one, son. I hear in my spirit the word of God. For the word of God speaks by the mind of God and the Father of God's well pleased. The sons and daughters preaching on the trees alive. We're going to get up the earth, shirt. Don't you know you come from the dirt and the ground? You're going back to the ground, son. Come on, you were born from the ground, going from the man's side. Let me get out of here and let Clear and Brown break it down. I'm a double vision, not a double minded man, but the double vision of the line of God. I'm land, skill of land. Glory to God. I'm going to preach and teach the word of God by the fire of the spirit. Let's hang on to your pants glory to god i'm here to dance like romance my wife said lance oh gotta calm down now fresh fire i'll come down you'll see count it down clint brown let's go fresh fire I'm talking to him at 1 30 today
who's here. Share the broadcast if you can get in. I'm breaking it down today. Double twins. I agree, Facebook users. Come on, what's your name? I'm going to be transparent today. I had a vision today when God woke me up out of my deep sleep early this morning. We can hear from God today. We all can. We've all been saved by the grace of God, by the power of the Spirit, the living Spirit of God, by the one Christ King, and only one Son. Count it down, Clint Brown. Who can speak? Who can teach? Jesus is alive. Come on, my beloved John. One Son. Like John, like John the Baptist came preaching and teaching. Come on, let me lighten you up. Glory to God. Come on, it was John the Baptist said, shall I look for another? Come on, you got to know the breath of God's in you. You got to know you've been saved by the grace and the blood working power, the Lamb of God slain before the foundation of this world. We come from one man. We come from one Christ King. Glory to God. I'm not doing the same thing. I got the plan of God and the mind of God by the brain of God, by the mind of Christ, by the Spirit of God. Amen. My spirit and your spirit can understand the written scriptures of the Lamb's Book of Life. We study to show ourselves approved. We are approved by the blood of the Lamb of Jesus. When we die together with God, God is Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who came out of the Virgin Mary. Now in Revelation, I got to be quick today because I got to get to work. Glory to God. I got to get out there and sell. I got to get out there and let my hell. I got to get out there and break down hell. Glory to God. Break it down by the Word of God and the Son of God for the kingdom of God's at hand. You stand in the right hand of the Father God with the Word of God and the Son of God is manifesting Himself right now in you by the same Spirit of the Father's blessing. Who am I speaking to now? I come to speak to every voice and every vessel shall ever breathe out of a body from the first Adam to the last Adam. Now to scream, not scream like a demon, but preach by the preaching of the preaching, the manifold wisdom of the power of the Spirit of God. I come to teach and preach in every church that can't be hurt. I come to split by the right division, the right call, and the right place, the right hand, the Father God right now, sitting in the heavenly places with the Word of God on fire, the baptism of Jesus Christ. I woke up this morning, had a vision while I was wide awake. God woke me up in the Spirit, uh, activated the faith of the Word of God in my life. My spirit began to speak together with God as God began to speak right now out of my mouth. He began to speak the wisdom of God by the power of the Spirit of God, by the Christ King and only one Son, as I set free from the spirit of death. Can't you sing the glorification of God's Word? Ain't no devil gonna hold us down. Our body's been going to the grave as fast as, fast as we could. Glory to God. We've been getting older and sinning more. Glory to God. But God says He's gonna wake you up from sleep out of your snore. He come like a thief in the night. He come when you wasn't even looking for God. He came in when Jesus came when God birthed in the Virgin Mary. You know, out from the midst of her came the Word of God. That's the Son of God. For the same Spirit planted in her same word in my breath same word in my spirit my spirit come from the eternal spirit the most high God the one spirit that once was still is alive I preach in Jesus name above every name ever been known unto man I come to you in the Christ King the anointed one son by the breath of the father the word of God for Jesus is the life of the word of God by the same spirit of the father God now speaking to your life right now if your spirit can intercede and understand God's praying and intercession by the mind of the spirit you've been created in the image and likeness of the son of man now the son of God and all of his healing wisdom and the power of the spirit of the father the blessing of God. We're the children of God. Let's stand on the earth as the last man standing, preaching and teaching the word of fire. Baptized by Jesus. Baptism of Jesus by the water of grace, by the mind of God. Who can teach this word? But God can. God can do all things in us. We believe in Jesus Christ. Got the faith of the Son of Man, Son of God now appearing. He's appearing in the mouth of those who were chosen to preach and teach the vessels of the mind of God. My body is a vessel of the Most High God, the Father's blessed the Son of Abraham and Isaac Jacob. And Jacob, your sons too. We come from the word of God. We come from the written scriptures, the Lamb's Book of Life. Open up the book. Can't be shook. Look. Glory to God, we preach it now. We preach it with the Father, written scripts, the last book of life is in Revelation 22, 21. That's the last verse in the last book of Revelation. Don't you understand? Don't take one word, not one thing away from God today. God is Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God and the Father of God and the breath of God. And those who preach and teach by the first Adam and the last Adam's breath, glory to God, for the first breath of God breathing, the first man got set free from the last man. We the last man standing on the earth today. You can believe this and believe that. I don't care what you say. Glory to God, I come to preach in every house and every grace by the power of the blood of the Lamb sacrifice. Your body is the body of Jesus and your body is Christ King and only one son you preach and teach with God's son you preach and teach with the only begotten son of God for you are the child of the living God by the living spirit the most high God right now preaching and teaching by the faith of the son of the living man of the living saying God says yes you can do all things together with me boy glory to God I'm a man chosen by God living in the bread of God living in the water of life living in the spirit of kingdom of the most high God if John the Baptist preached the kingdom of God's coming and Jesus came glory to God come on hallelujah as God put his seed in Mary how you think he planted his seed in there she was a virgin he 
didn't have to penetrate. Glory to God. You understand, men, women? I just hope you got the adult vision and don't have a dirty mind, a perverted mind, or the mind of the snake or the devil and the tree of the first tree that we crucified together with God on fresh fire. He's the last tree. He's the one now alive in you and me. For we come out this place this same way Mary gave birth to the life of the Son of Man and the Son of God. We preach by the Spirit of the life of Christ. We speak with the Father of the Word of God who planted his seed in the Virgin Mary. I'm a virgin man preaching to the house of grace by the power of the house of Jesse, house of Jesus Christ. Glory to God, King David, and is around me singing and bringing and bringing and blessing the flesh of us. I come to build a church of the Most High God on the earth today in every house and every church that don't know the Word of God. I come to preach above your name. I put my name and his name together as one son. I preach in the name of Jesus Christ, the only Word and the only faith and the only Father of the only Son of the only Spirit now speaking fresh fire. I come to burn up the house of God. I come to burn every traditional teaching. Man down, fresh fire. I come to preach above all things, within all things, for all things to be made known. I was born again by Jesus Christ before the world ever once was. God still is alive in the Spirit. The Spirit of Jesus is the Spirit of the Father God. Now the Word of the Father, the Spirit of the Most High God, and the life creature. I'm baptized on fire, filled with the Holy Spirit, baptized by the water of fire. I had a vision this morning that I saw fire coming down from heaven, just like the rain comes down out from the sky, does not return the Word of God, does not return back into God void, but He accomplished, Jesus Christ accomplished everything that should have been done and was done and is done, for the Word of God is the life of the Son of God, and the life of the Spirit of the Most High God is alive, speaking in your voice, and if you hear God speaking by the Father of the Word of the life of Jesus, and the seed that He sown high in the Virgin Mary, I come to grab every microphone from every man's hand, and like me stand in the sand, I'm broke as a joke, but I got the fire, I didn't come here to laugh, I come here to praise, I come here to give God the glory, I come here to let you you hear the story of the word of God by the Jesus Christ, the Son of God, I got a story to tell you today, we come to pray with the King house, and the glorified nation of the King Christ King, the anointed one son, we preach by the holy fire of the holy God, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, is fully alive in the church, in the man of God, preaching by the sand of time, preaching by the fire of God's mind I got the mind of Jesus and the body of Jesus and the Father's blessing I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ King I have nothing to give but my spirit I come clothed and naked and not ashamed I have no money in my hand as my wife wants to leave me now let her take my children but let her know now she's married to the man of God uh, the man of God preaching by the faith of the Son of God. The man of God preaching with the Father God. I had a vision and I'm not going to take back what God gave. God gave me a vision. I saw the future coming. I saw what God already did through the Son of Man. Now the Son of God's alive in the born again children. Whether you male or female. Whether you white or black. We come to get the leprosy off our head. We come to kill destroy the wickedness of Satan. We come to destroy every wicked spirit ever preaching. We come to let the word of God be as he once was and still is alive for those who speak by the spirit of grace the fire of the Holy Spirit I hear him come up the steps glory to God let this word now be in you let you be on fire with God give me 10 minutes I'll be through in 10 minutes time glory to God I gotta get out and drink new wine let the spirit of God speak in you the fire of God came in my sleep woke me up out my sleep deep this morning I come to tell everybody in the world today, everybody that's ever once been in your children, whatever background you come from, whatever name your history's in, whatever word ever once was, is now, is alive. For the Spirit of the Most High God is coming. He's coming with fire in His eyes. He's coming with a sword in His hand. He's coming with every word that we speak by the Spirit of the Most High God who has received Jesus, who has a serious glory to God, the Spirit of Jesus. You got the Spirit of the Father God. You got the Holy Spirit of the Word of God. You got the same Spirit that once was, still is alive in eternal thy glory. You come to glorify the name of the Father, the name of the Son by the same Spirit. Now the Holy Spirit of the Word of God is teaching and preaching the Word of faith by the faith of the Son the living Spirit of the Most High God. That's how you know your spirit's one with God. Your spirit's born again only through the blood sacrifice of the Lamb of God in Jesus. For Jesus is the Word of faith and the faith of the Son of the Father, the Father of the Word of God now speaking. So you got to understand these things you speak with God. For God is alive in your breath as he is in mine too. Glory to God he saved me before time ever once was. For time is at hand right now. We got the hand 
end of time. Do we know what time Jesus is appearing? We know the second coming of the baptism of Jesus by the water of grace. We come to preach every word that's ever been heard, for every life that's ever been, for everyone that's ever had breath in their body from the first Adam as the last Adam stands together with Jesus. He's the last and the first and the word by the spirit of the both voice of God with the same breath of God. Those who are manifesting the greater works of Jesus have the glorification of God's name. You've been given the name of Jesus for the word of God now speaking by the fire of God, by the blessing of the Father God is alive in your breath. Just the spirit speaking out of me if they say spirit in you already. We come in this world just like God sowed the seed in the Virgin Mary. And open up your Bible to Genesis, Revelation, Genesis, the same book, look, 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 look. Don't take one word out of the gospel. We preach the gospel of God. We preach the breath of life. We preach the word of the living spirit of the most high God of the word written in the Holy Scripture, the Lamb's book of life, covered by the glory of God, sheeted up by God. I hear the shepherd's voice. We're not sheep, glory to God. We just know the word of God by the interpretation of scriptures. We understand every word, every meaning, every picture of a pope. Hope, hope, scope, pope, who are you, pope? Hey, hey, no, pope, glory to God. There's only one man standing on the word of God. There's only one Christ King and only one Son. There's only one life we all live by the breath of the Father, the Son, now by the same Spirit. Glory to God. We couldn't have preached nothing but the truth, so help me, Holy Spirit, Christ King, nor the one Son, gave me the breath of the Father God, now the Son of God. It is manifesting Himself by the word, faith, of the written scripture, the Lamb's Book of Life. I'm coming to scream today. I'm coming to let it out without a doubt. We're the temple of the Most High God, with the mind of the river Christ, with the river, the water of life. As fire's coming down from heaven, you better get ready to cover your house with blood. You better plead the blood of the Lamb right now. He's let the death angel out. This is revelation, baby. We're in demonstration, baby. We are the new children of the body of Christ. No, not, not things what I say. I only speak what God says by the Spirit of God in me. For the Christ King, only one Son, place the kingdom of God within you and within me now. Open up the book. Open up the scope. Open up the sea. You can see before there ever once was, now he is. Glory to God. Same Spirit that still is alive in us today. God's Spirit's never changed. Gonna change every mind by the position of God raised up, sitting together with Christ Jesus as we sit together in the heavenly place of the Most High God as the kingdom of the living Spirit of the Most High God is within us all, y'all. Glory to God. We born in the time, position, the right time, at the right place, at the right time, knowing the right position. We've been preordained by God the Father through God the Son. Now the Holy Spirit speaking. Now therefore, God's Spirit of the Father God is preaching by the Spirit of God, of the resurrected power of God, of the same Spirit once was, still is alive. I'm a born again man of God, but God, God chose me before the foundation of this world to be the life of Christ King and only one Son as He is. As Jesus Christ is, I am. So are you right now, fresh fire. Whether you're a man, woman, or child, you got to identify with the Word of God so you can speak the Word of faith by the faith of the Father God and the same faith of the Son of God by the life of the same Spirit in your life. Before you go down to the graveyard and they put your dead work and dying body down in that graveyard, six feet down to six feet by, how you going to breathe in? Glory to God. I breathe by the breath of the Father, dragon of God, by the foul house of God, by the house of Jesse, house of God, every word, every spoken in the written scripture, Lamb's book of life. I got the breath of Jesus. Glory to God. He give us the breath of the Word of God. For the same breath in the first Adam is the same breath of the last Adam. Now speaking by the breath of the fire of the Holy Spirit. Now speaking, glory to God. If you're a church on fire, I'm an individual body of Christ, as you are too. Come on, I come to spell it out without a doubt. Come shout it out. I'm going to shout with the voice of God and the voice of triumph. I come to sing with the house of David. I come to praise with the gift of God. I got the gift of grace. I got the gift of the Spirit of the Most High God, baptized by the Jesus Christ, by the water of God. And God says, I promise you, I won't burn this place up. I'll keep the sun going up and the sun going down and the moon at night. As a light, 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 light shining in your heart. Come on, open up your book and you see. You got to find God in the scriptures. In the scriptures, the Rams look alive by a preacher. Teaching and preaching by the faith of the Son of God. Preaching by the faith of the Father God. Preaching by the saints, Holy Spirit, and you and me together. We can do all things together by the Spirit of God. As Christ King, only one Son, anoints you too by the breath of God. You guys got to understand I'm a preacher, the teacher, the metaphor of wisdom. My gift is a gift of grace to speak God's word by His Spirit. I don't preach my Spirit. I preach His Spirit, my Spirit unified with the house of God. The house of God built on the foundation for the word of God. My body is the body of the Father God, of the Son of God. Set me free. Set me free to be the flesh man and the flesh mind of the Father, the same Spirit in Jesus. Same Spirit, the Father in me. Glory to God. Ain't you, aren't you born again to stand against the devil and again his death death itself where's your sting every one of you you've been dying going down to the graveyard you were born into this world just like Jesus glory to God you was given the breath of God what you gonna do with the Holy Spirit now you know, everybody give an account for what they've done knowing the truth of the Holy Scripture Holy Bible listen to a preacher so if you listen to any other preacher but the voice of God and the voice of fire what church you think you built on I'm built on the foundation of the word of God by the Son of God by the Christ King and only one Son by the same Holy Spirit and all y'all children we come to preach the children of the Most High God for the law of Moses is crucified and the law of the Spirit of Christ King and only one Son stands and sets us all free to the Holy Spirit of the Christ King preaching the truth nothing but the truth as I bless every neighbor child and friend as I speak by the only God but the only Christ King the only God of this world is Jesus he is Christ King he is the anointed one Son you don't like this some of you already left this place you don't like how I preach that's okay I don't like you either you against God's breath I stand alone on the word of God the B-I-B-L-E that's the word of God for me I stand Stand alone with Jesus Christ if I have to. Hell, every time I speak now by the anointing of the spirit of the revelation of the word of God, by the same foundation of the mind of God, by the same apostolic anointing of the apostles and the preaching and the teaching, 
name of the foundation of Jesus Christ and God's word. For Jesus Christ is the word of the Father. Jesus Christ is the word of the sons and the daughters of the earth. Representing all of heaven now in the purple robe. Glory to God. You're the royalty in Christ. You've been given the breath of the Father. You've been given the breath of the Son of the living Spirit of God. You have been given the same blood cleansing power of the Son of Man who set you free from the Son of Satan. God had two sons. Come on, who you birthed from now? Are you from the first or the last? For the last man with the word of God speaking on the earth today represents all heaven and all of earth as you know who you are now in Christ Jesus as I stand alone preaching the word of God, sounding the voice of triumph as I was created in the image and the likeness of God for the fountain of grace, for the word of the fire, the spirit of the water of life flowing out of my mouth. Hallelujah. I had a vision just as the rain comes down in the days of Noah before it ever rained God spoke to Noah he said Noah build a build, build a building build a boat build a tabernacle for eight of you souls to get in the boat and as of the days of Noah before they ever thought it would rain for they didn't ever see rain before but what they could not see was coming it was going to rain and Noah prepared his people he cried out from himself he was a drunkard in the vineyard he was called before time itself with Jesus. We come before time. We are the time preachers manifesting God's glory and for the same spirit of Noah. I speak by the spirit of God who manifesting in the sound of the born again preachers. We are unlike any other preacher you've ever seen. We are unlike any other building. We are unlike any other man. I didn't come from my town. I didn't come from this life. I come from the Holy Ghost fire. God's breath is breathing in the house of those who believe in Jesus. For those who believe in the Son of God have been given the breath of the Father of the wind of time with the time preachers. Just as God spoke to Noah and said, Noah it's about to rain. They didn't even know what rain was. They had never seen rain or clouds. They had never heard the lightning strike. They had never heard anything they'd ever known. But thus by faith now you believe you've received the gift of grace by the power of the spirit of the lion of the tribe of Elan, by the power of the tribe of Judah. I come to gather God's people around the nations. I come to preach the fire of God upon this earth, upon the land. I come from heavenly places. I come sitting together with the house of grace through the house of Jesse, through the house of David. My body is a house for God. My spirit on fire with Jesus. Jesus gives me the life of the Father. I hear the glory train. I hear the house of the river alive. I hear the sound of the revival. I hear the resurrection from the dead in Christ. First fruits. I hear the first fruits of the begotten Son of God speaking together with God's Spirit as Jesus is alive by the Spirit of the Father God, by the Spirit of the written scriptures of the Lamb's book before there ever once was. Our God still is alive in the Spirit. If your spirit born again by Jesus, somebody say yeah, yeah, yeah. I come to preach above all things, within all things to be made known. I come to preach a thing you could not see. I come to preach a word you did not know. For the word written was only written for you to know the spirit of the Father of the Word of God. For the Father of the Son of God in Jesus is the Son of the living Spirit of the Father and the Father of the Spirit in your life. If I speak a word unto you and I prophesy I speak by God's Spirit alone. The one Spirit that once was still is the Word of God and the Word once was and still is God. For the Word God speaking with the same Spirit that once was and still is alive in you. I got the breath of the one spirit of the Father God and the same spirit of the life of God. For the life in Jesus is the life of the test spirit. You can test the water, drink the water of life and the wine turns in the water in the wine. I come, I ain't crying today. I'm broke. I don't got two nickels. My bank account's in the green. It's in the negative. I'm like Abraham. Which side you choosing, Lot? Don't tell your wife to look back. She's a heart of stone. Jezebel going to hell. I'm a man of God chosen to preach above my own life. Glory to God, Justin. If you hear the word of faith and have the faith of the son of the living God. you leave every man. you leave every woman. you leave every child, even your own children. If they don't believe in God, you can believe today above all things. Justin, you are a man of God. Glory to God. You're supposed to tickle those keys while I'm preaching. I come to rob you. I come to steal your life. I come to take you, devour you with the word of the living father. Hallelujah. You'll never die, says God. I come to speak the spirit of death. Get out of my house. Get away from me, Satan. COVID, a liar, glory to God. I come
begin to tell every man's a liar that don't preach by God's spirit on fire. Hallelujah. I had a vision this morning. When God gives you a vision, you can't see what God's saying. Woo! You start saying what God's seeing. When you start seeing what God said, you start preaching what God is. Who is God? He's Christ Jesus. He's the word of the Father God, of the life of the Spirit of God, and the same Son of the Christ King, another one. He is the life of the Father. He's the life of the breadwinner. You don't have to worry about how much money you got today, honey, honey. You may lose your house. You may lose everything that you got right now, but you can shed your skin you can shed your life and try, cry no eyes, cry no tears. Woo, hallelujah, on fire. Baptized by the love of God, by the love of the same Holy Spirit that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is in your dead, dying body. Like now, he came in like a thief in the midst of the middle of the night river. He came in when you didn't even look for God. He already chose you before the foundation were to die with Jesus. We died with the death of the Son of Man. We died in the death of the Son of God. We died in the death of his death by one death, but the second death is our death. So if you go ahead and die, with the word of God understand the word's alive I said the word of God's alive I said the word of God's alive by the spirit of God who wrote the scriptures of the author and the finish of our faith who's the author of the Bible the book, book got shook come on that's God that's the spirit of God the father of God the author of the son of God and the word of God I'm a child of God just like Jesus saved by the grace of God saved by the power of the same spirit speaking so if I speak unto you any other word than the spirit of Jesus and the spirit of his father I only speak by the spirit of my eternal spirit my eternal spirit was blood white spirit filled by Jesus Christ alone glory to God I'm saved by the grace of the father God of the word of God and the son of God and the life of the same spirit speaking I'm just going to speak what God says and just let God be for God created me to be the living tree in the tree of Jesus and the knowledge of the son of man and the son of God not the knowledge of evil the taste of faith all of us taste of the tree of knowledge of good and evil now you got a sight see evil out your brain with a lance I got lance huh? my name is Lance Gillen glory to God I got the lance spirit I got the sword spirit in my mouth my name is Lance Sean Gillen God knew my name before my father and mother ever got together before my natural father ever sowed seed to my natural mother and my natural birth I'm only birthed by the new Christ King and only one son in the spirit to know God's always been here near you in your mouth God's always around you, for you, through you, now in you. Glory to God. You speak by the water of life. You've been saved from the fire coming. I saw fire, literally fire, coming down from the sky like the stars fell down from the sky like Abraham just sitting outside in the wondering, in the wondering, in the wondering of the spirit of the mind of Christ. I just had my dream, you know. God woke me up out of my deep sleep in the midst of the night. Early this morning, this morning, I heard the sound of God. He started speaking out of my mouth. I said, my God, who's speaking out of my mouth? That's God. Jesus Christ is the word of God. He's the son of the spirit of God, the sword of the spirit in your mouth. You'll preach by the Lance anointing day. Say, I received the Lance Gillen and anointed the Son of God and the same Spirit in Jesus Christ, the Son of the Son of Spirit, and the Holy Spirit raised up in him, the same Spirit in me by the Father of our same Father. We got the same Father, Jesus Christ, his Father. His Father is our Spirit. His Spirit is our Spirit through Jesus Christ, the Spirit. There's only one Spirit in all of us now that casts the devil out your brain. Glory to God. You've been saying, yeah, I got the mind of Christ and the mind of God and the mind of Spirit once was, still is life. God's Word ain't never changed. For the Word written in the Holy Scripture, you can understand these things. I'm singing today. I'm preaching today. I'm preaching by the one Word, by the one life, by the one Christ King, by the one Son and the one Father by the one Spirit, my eternal Spirit has always been with God. For God chose me before the foundation was to die with Jesus. And if you die the death on the cross of Calvary, you know you the wood that couldn't be shook. Glory to God. You the book couldn't be shook. Speaking about the Spirit of God speaking. That's how God speaks. He speaks out of every chosen vessel in the last day. For this is the last day, the first day together when God said, light be. You understand? Light is still shining in the hearts of men as I preach by the heart of man. I'm a man of God preaching by the Son of God, by the light of God, by the same Spirit who is God, of the Father God, of the Word of God, and the Son of God. For the same Spirit in the eternal glorification of God's Word, I honor the glorification of God's word by the Father and the Son now alive by His Spirit. His Spirit now speaking in my spirit. I'm unified. I don't care what anybody says to me right now. I don't listen to any other man that's trying to tell me what to do. I'm doing what God said to do by the word of God. For the word speaks by the house of grace, by the house of the Jesse built on the foundation of the word of God through Jesus Christ alone as you speak by His Spirit speaking. Now you just start speaking in the house of grace by the house of glorification. God's words I heard in the Spirit and God said my spirit, your spirit. Now our spirit is one spirit of the Son of God by the Son of Man and the life of the Father, Son, and Son and Son. He said you the Son and the Son. You got the blessing of Abraham. You can hear as I hear as you know as you I, I know as you know as we all know. We all got the same spirit of Jesus. Don't we call Christians? I'm a Christ like one born again by the word of God. The word of God written by the Holy Scriptures of the mind of God. For the mind of the Father and the mind of the Son is one spirit in all of us now. I just come to speak to all of you children of the most high God chosen before time itself to speak the time and the, the position of the word of God by the same spirit who is God. For the spirit of God's never changed. He's alive in you only through Jesus. As you believe in Jesus Christ, he's the living word of God by the living spirit of God by the living Father of God in your life today. He built you on the foundation of the word of God through Jesus Christ, Son of God, for 
once was. He is God. He's the God, the Father, the Spirit of God, the Son of God, the life, Spirit in you. I just come to plain, plain and simple. Hallelujah. I'm a simple people, 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 people preacher. God lives in all his people that, that know the Word of God. We know the written scripture, the Lamb's Book of Life, because God interprets the Word of God by the same Spirit speaking, by the gift of grace, by the gift of tongues. I got the pen and the red, 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 like Paul, y'all. Come on, he changed his name from Saul to Paul. Come on, Peter, teacher, people, 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 Peter, Papa, Peter, Paul, Pe 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 Pickle, Pickles. I'm, I'm like a jar of God in the sand of time. I can see in the principles of God and the Word of God manifesting by the power of the formation of the Word of God by the same Spirit in Mary and the Virgin Mary. How you going to say in Revelation 22, 21? How you understand the whole book of Revelation? It's in demonstration. God reveals Himself in each one of us now. The book of Revelation about Jesus Christ alone. That's His testimony by the life of the blood of the Lamb, testifying by the book of the prophets. Now, the Word of God's never changed. It's always used a man of God to preach the Word of God above all things, within all things. Jesus is a man of God. He's the only Son of the God, God Son of God, that you received His breath and His life as you were born again by Him and Christ the King alone, as one Spirit by the Most High God, by the Father God bless you with His Spirit, and our Spirit's unified with the Father, the Spirit of God, and the same Spirit Jesus Christ is our Spirit, unified day speaking. The kingdom of God's here, but the kingdom of God came through Jesus Christ by one man, by one Christ King, by the Virgin Mary. How do you think God, the Father, planted His seed in the Virgin? Hey, hey, what well, do you think? You suck in there, glory to God. Uh, Y'all don't get all dirty minded on me now. Just come to tell the truth, nothing but the truth. So help me, Spirit of God. For the same way Jesus came out from Mary, you'll understand the things I'm telling you in Revelation 22. So if you'll see the tree of life, you'll see the tree is planted in the still waters. Amen. In the midst of her. Amen. Say, God's in the midst of me right now. I'm born again, whether I'm male or female alike. God created us to be as he once was, he is now alive in the first Adam. For the last Adam set the first Adam free from the death. For the woman ever came out, the man, for out of his side flow blood and water flow. Now we the bride of Christ by the Mary God, by the Virgin Mary, the, by the house of grace, and our earth represents the body. And the body represents the earth and the fullness thereof as we got back together with God through Jesus Christ alone. As God gave us the spirit of the mind of the Father and the mind of the spirit of the Son of God, now preaching by the same spirit who is God. For the Father and the Son, Son of God, still in the same place, same time. And our time is together with God right now. Say, right now, faith is like me speaking the word of God by the faith of the Father and the Son of God and the faith of the word of God now speaking. It's lightning. I mean, I'm fast like lightning. I'm of God speaking the truth, the manifest of glory. I can't even speak, can't even keep up with God's spirit. God's spirit is fully alive in my spirit. Baptize me with Jesus. Jesus is the baptism of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Father, who's now one spirit together with us now, now preaching teaching by the word of God, of the faith of the Father God and the faith of the Son of God now alive and you speaking. So if you can catch the wave of God, just get up, call him spirit, sit together with God. Through Christ Jesus, we were saved by the grace of God and the power of the blood sacrifice of the world, blood of the Lamb of God. You'll start speaking. I'm teaching. I'm teaching by the Lord of God, by the fire of God. I'm just a teacher of the preacher of the word of God, by the manifestation of God's kingdom and the glorification of God's words. I'm just a Gentile. Glory to God. And the Gentile Jews got saved by the same faith, the same faith, as those two enemies became one son, life Christ King. Jesus Christ said, Oh, the old world order back together together with him, as we now have the first friends, the first folks, the first fruits of the manifestation of God's kingdom, speaking the truth of the manifestation of God's kingdom in the glorification of God's word. I can't help myself. I just gotta tell my father in law right now, you got more money than I ever had. You done placed up yourself up to the most of scapegoat, glory to God. I got the blood of the Lamb of God, preach all things within all things for all things to come, as the kingdom of God's coming down. I said the kingdom of the most high God's coming down like fire. He's coming to burn this earth up. And in the midst of the middle of the earth, there ain't nobody been down in the core of that thing, glory to God. Don't you know he's about to blow it up? He's about to see you. You speak the tongues of the angels of men. You speak every word ever been known. And you'll speak like hubba bubba, glory to God. You'll have the hubba bubba fruit. I got the fruit, can't get loot juice. You like fruit of pebbles, glory to God. What cereal you eat today? I eat the word of God. I eat the scroll of time. My spirit knows God. My spirit is the voice of God, the voice of the Father, the Son of God, and the life of the singing spirit. My spirit's already in the heavenly places with the kingdom of God. For the kingdom of God came through Jesus as he planted his, God planted his seed in the Virgin Mary. Now, if you understand Revelation 22, you'll see the tree that's in the midst of the river and out from the both on both sides of the river is a tree of life hallelujah you know what I'm saying that's where the seed was planted in the Mary and he was inside the womb of Mary who represents the mother earth hallelujah God planted his seed in the earth again for the last Adam believing the last Adam the first Adam God created from the dirt and the dirt is a squirt dirt can't be hurt shirt glory to God you better dust that feet off now you better shake your snake skin you better go ahead and go ahead and get rid of the devil right now you resist the devil of death the death angel is still taking you down from the first Adam you are born to this life by one life to live and that's a Christ king only one son we're in the time of the age of the ages rock of ages which I stand by the mind of God to understand all things created by God in the first place it's the first time he said light be light still is shining in the hearts of men preaching and teaching by the man of God preaching by the son of God I preach in Jesus name the only name to give it unto, unto men to preach the word of God by the apostles the preaching the teaching the manifold wisdom of the power of God let you know that God's already in the spirit of God of those who are born again those who are born again by the seed that God sold in the virgin Mary you coming in the same way she got in as Jesus came in Jesus had to look at the book of the scripture he had written down as a child of God as a boy of God he had to understand he is a son of God he had to say he's a sacrifice of the word of God for the whole world to know as we are now glory to God I come to get my place in the manifestation of God's kingdom with one son of the one life to who know who I am in Christ Jesus as he once was so am I so are you women of God I come to tell you all you male figures and all you women figures glory to God you've been figuring it out right now I got the scapegoat of the mind of God by the blood of the Lamb sacrifice for whoever once was male female life we know the spirit of God who once was for the spirit of the Father God the same spirit of the Son of God and the same Holy Spirit who is God so he's manifested from within all of us right now
Now, say this to me and agree with me. The kingdom of God's within me. For God gave me the ghost of the Most High God by the preaching and the teaching of the manifold wisdom and the power of God in my mouth. So if you start preaching teaching by the same spirit that once was, you still got the same spirit that now is. For the same spirit that was and now is the word of God. We preach the full gospel, the word of God, by the Son of God, mind the Father, Father God, the Spirit of God, who knows the written scriptures. You start speaking the written scriptures, now fully live. That makes it the spoken word of God by the same spirit who is God. So the same word of God who is Jesus Christ, Son of God, and the same Father God of the Word of God is the life of your spirit now testifying that the world to come. I said the next hope, hope I'm just telling you what's about to happen. The future's about to hit. Glory to God. I saw in a vision fire was coming down from the sky like the stars fell down from the sky or something. Like Abraham standing out there looking at the stars and the moon. And God said Abraham. Glory to God. You got the blessings of Abraham now children. You're the children of the breadwinners. You got the bread of God. If you've ever been saved by grace you better start bleeding the blood of the lamb for the devil's been loosed from hell. I mean hell's coming. Fire's coming. Glory to God. Thank God we saved by the grace of the blood. Say blood of lamb. I plead the blood of the lamb of Jesus over my mind, over my body, over my spirit. Say the blood set me free. Say peace like a river. Peace like a river. Now, I don't have a good singing song sound, you know. I just I try to make a good sound. I try to make a tune, I'm a monotone. I'm a preacher. With the breath of the Father God. I'm just looking for the singers, the worshipers, and the praisers. Today I got a call to make Bishop Clint Brown. He's a bishop. Married to my best friend's wife. Like King David, Bishop. You are the anointing of King David. You are the father of another man's seed. Can you hear the sound? The gospel of Jesus singing for their father's blood as he was dumped out into the water. When his head hit the side of the boat, before his body hit the water, his spirit was with the kingdom. Now we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses today. As we speak the greater works of Jesus, the glorification of the word of God the Father, and God the Son, by God the Holy Spirit within our spirit, born again, knowing the truth of the revelation of the word of God. For when we speak together with God as he is to gather us up together in the spirit of all of those who can hear God, for God speaks within our spirit as he already has been when we were born into this world with the Spirit of God. For we were born again with God through Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who releases his Spirit within all his children who's ever breathed in this life. For the life we have been given now, faith is a life speaking by the Father, the Word of God. For the one who sowed the seed, who is Jesus, the Word, you are the harvest of the kingdom. We speak by the same Holy Spirit as we unveil each other to the eyes of our understanding by the wisdom of the Father of the Word of God and the wisdom of the Son and the life of the speaking Spirit of the Holy Spirit of the Father of the Son and Jesus. For just as He came in this world, He was already in. Before there ever once was, God had a body planned already out without a doubt to live in the hearts of men and the women and the children who gave birth on this land. For there would not be anybody to be somebody without the only spirit of the living spirit of Jesus and the Father's breath. But the Father of the Son and Jesus and the Spirit wouldn't have anybody unless a man and a woman and the two become one when they break it down, I mean, when they get together and he puts his wand <laughs> and down by the river, glory, I went down by the river gates and sold my seed, not in her mouth, but I sold my seed in the bottom of the house of God, in the woman that took it. Now, my wasn't no virgin. I can tell you that right now. That thing was wide open, boys, little girls. It was slippery sliding and just dipping and diving. I just come to speak the truth, so help me God. Ain't none of y'all ever been here unless a man woman got together and sold his seed in good ground. And I'm just trying to tell my wife, you the queen. But if you want to leave the king, that's all right. 
You can walk your way and take these children down to your daddy's house and pack these bags up because I am not going to stop preaching. When God tells me to above my own name, I preach the name above all names. I can't help myself if God wake me up in the midst of the sleep in my night dreams. Wake me up early in the morning and say, Son of God, listen to your father. Listen to me, son. They may all leave you and you may lose this house and you may lose your cars and you may lose your own life, but you're going down to the same place. Everybody's going. You go into the graveyard, son. But before you go down and fall short of my glory, I got to release a few things I got to tell you folk today. The same Holy Spirit of the Father God, of the Word of God, of the Son of God and the life of Christ Jesus. He's the Word of God. He is the faith and the hope of the Father's Spirit and the same Holy Spirit of His Father by His Spirit glorified His own name. For in the name of the Son, in the name of the Father, the Spirit, the Living Spirit, speaking right now, hallelujah, my God is an awesome God. He's above my life. He's above all things, within all things, for all things to be made known, your future's coming. You all got an appointment with death, and it's knocking at your door, at your house today. You don't even know when the devil's coming to rape your children and take that seed out your son, out your daughter, and out your breath. The devil's coming for your body. You can't let him in. Not on my watch. Not today. I'm in the house of God. One he built before the foundation of this world. For my body was in reserve to be with Paul the apostle. Peter the teacher. James and James's twins. And all God's children with the breath of the father, the word of God. For every name ever written in the last book of life in the Holy Scriptures or the Holy Bible of the Word of God has your name in it. You got to find your name. For in the name of Jesus, we break through. We come on in now. Come on in the house of God. For before there ever once was, we were built on the foundation of the Word of God and the life of the Spirit of the Son of God and the life of the Spirit of the Father of the Word of the Son of the Spirit of the Father and the mind of those who now know whoa, 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 that the same Holy Spirit is speaking now. If you blessed of the Father of the Word of God by the Son of God and the life of the Eternal Spirit of the only Spirit that once was and could be now, and the breath of your singing and preaching and doing and thinking, I come to build the church. I come to take the keys to the kingdom. I come to speak with the Holy Spirit as my spirit is. Holy Spirit under God, for the Father of the Word of the Son speaks by the same unified spirit of the Father, of the Son, of the life of Jesus Christ. Now our spirit, knowing God, speaking out of the house of God built now on the foundation of my body, my mind, my mouth to be in the place to see. I speak heaven of the university, of the life of Christ King, of the anointed one Son, of the spirit of the living host, just as he planted his seed in the Virgin Mary. I come to speak a word you never heard. For the word we speak now, by faith in the one and only Son, by the breath of the Father, the Son, of the living Spirit, of the eternal glorification of God's word through Jesus, the word of God, the Son of God, the life of the Father, the same Spirit, of the mind of God, the Father, the mind of the Son, my mind reckons out. By the word of faith, faith by the Spirit of God, I come to sing like Elvis Presley, I come to rock and roll, you know. I can sing, rap, dance, and just one show. You know my name is Lance. I got the pants to dance. I got the Lance romance. I come to shake my bone. I come to tickle your tune, your women, and you know, your clit, step, lit, dip, zip, step. I come to put it in, my friend, my brother, my sister, my joy. Don't you know you got the Holy Spirit of joy? 
that you perverted mind can't understand. I'll come to wash your mind by the washing of the word of the word of the spirit of the most I got. For nobody could walk around and be anybody of somebody of everybody of all you know. The same spirit, the Holy Ghost. I said the Holy Ghost power. Jesus power. The Father of the Word of God and the Son of God and the Spirit of Christ King. Anointed one Son, set my spirit free to let you know in you and me. We got the host of the most. Father to see, we got the gross coast. Glass class, we got the man of God and the river Christ. He got glass house, got glass stone. We're going to cast that first stone now. For we all sin in the glorification of the Word of God. We all been dying and crying and going down back to the ground. But God says you are grounded in the root of the fruit of the tree of life and the tree of understanding by the mind of Christ of the Spirit of the fruit of the nation of the preaching teaching of the word of God by the one spirit of Jesus now say we got one spirit in us now that's Jesus spirit right now say right now believe by faith in Jesus spirit and the father who once was and still is his son and his son is the father of the word of God and the word of God now speaking by the son spirit of the most high God with the children uh, through Jesus Christ with the children of the Father the word of God that he sowed that seed in Mary as he planted the word same way in you the word comes out your bread now if you understand Revelation 22 all the book of Revelation, but last book can't be shook last chapter, but you got to get them chapter verse out your mind's crying. Glory to God. We don't preach doctrination to men, just as the Pharisees and all them. Come on, high priests couldn't understand the word already written, was already given to them. The Messiah came. That's the word of God walking around them living. That we have the New Testament life of Christ, the revelation demonstrated by the same spirit who wrote all the book, and the book's been completed. Now, if you close that book, mine's made of lambskin. It's got the leather book of the can't be shook. I'm the sheep hearing the shepherd's voice of the goat of God. I'm no scapegoat, goat, goat, scape God. God's blood sacrifice, lamb of God preaching every word out of my mouth. I couldn't preach every teacher and every preacher every manifold wisdom. I'm just a preacher of the same spirit of God by the Christ King, the only one son of mind of God. I don't care what anybody else says. You ain't taking me away from this place. I'm sitting together with Jesus. I don't come to judge you. I just let him be by the same spirit in you and me. For if you judge one, point your finger. That's the devil's son. I ain't no son, no skin, son, 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 I come to preach the perfection of God's word by the Holy Spirit who is God. I've been trying to go back to sell life insurance, you understand? By the life insurance, I've been saying i got to go back to the graveyard, you understand? you got to go back to the grave, and you'll have the money today. I need some money, honey, glory to God. But God said, just open up your mouth and speak, son, as I've given you the gift of grace to preach and teach my word by my spirit and tell them your spirit's already here. My spirit's son, God, son of God. With the word of the Father God, if you hear these words of mine, they're just not mine. They're freely given to me, but you know, as I speak and confirm the word of God written already in the Holy Scripture, the word of God, that's where you got to find your name. For your name, his name, same name in Jesus, our name together in Jesus. I come to build a church on the earth today. God said, gather my people. They'll come from the north, south, east, and the west. I'll bring them to you just as the wise men came and brought gifts to me. And the shepherd will come, the sheep. We'll get rid of the goats. They'll die left and right by the sword of the Spirit in Jesus. You just speak the truth and don't worry who falls to your right nor your left. Your flesh already dead, son. Your carnal mind's wicked. But I've saved you by grace. Grace alone on which I stand. All other words is sinking sand. For the house that God built through Jesus, the Son of Man, has got my body suit ready to shift winds, shift names. For he has given you the name amongst men and women and children to preach by the Spirit. And those who have the Spirit of God in Jesus have the word of the Father, the written scriptures of the Lamb's Book of Life. For your name is written in his name, in blood. For we have the blood of the Lamb of God now speaking. For my body is the body of Jesus and the body of his Father. I come from unknown, unknown, unknown things, unknown to man. I come from the eternal spirit of the one ghost the Most High God, the one true God of this land. I come to speak nothing but the truth, so help me, Spirit of God in Jesus. For the Spirit of God in Christ, King, the Anointed One Son, set us free from the curse of the Father. For his other children are dead. Dead. They fell short. And if you don't watch out and just start being as God says you are, Open your mouth and declare the works of the Lord by the power of the good deeds in Christ Jesus, that we walk only by the Spirit of Christ. For our words are His words. Our life is His life in demonstration of power. For we speak the only word we know by the only Holy Spirit of our eternal spirit. Only through Jesus can you speak the Father. 
of the blessed hope so you won't be cursed. If you curse, you dying. If you dying, you crying. You might as well get you a shovel. Go in your backyard and go ahead and dig you a ditch. As if a tornado wind was coming in the trailer parks with the flash fire down from the gates of hell. For your body is going back to the ground in which it came from. For we were born into this world one time and you got one opportunity and one chance to listen, glory, to the man chosen by the fire of the baptism of God. Even myself, I have to crucify daily. But God crucified once his son, who now those who come together in the spirit in Birmingham, I'm looking for a house. Glory to God. God said, Lance, he woke me up early this morning and out of my midst, out of my spirit, I begin to speak God out of my mouth. I said, my God, you great God, you are fire. You are my life and my life is your life. And I begin to see things in the future, hope. I saw the stars and the moon burning with fire. I said, God, no. He said, when they least expect it, I'm coming with fire. And I'm coming with a sword that's in your mouth. And if you don't speak my word, that I've called you before you ever once were. You better stand against every woman, child, man, devil, Satan, and death itself is knocking at your door if you don't release what I have placed already within my children. Yeah, like Moses when he led them out of captivity. I come to speak to death itself. Satan has tried to take me out these last three and a half years. I've died so many times I can't even tell you. And I had a choice to make. Do I want to go ahead and be with my glory? I said, no, God. I love my children more than my life. I got to tell them Jesus is coming, Ben. Jesus is coming with a sword in his hand and a fire in his eyes. And those who have the sword of the tongue are the ready rider. You are riding high with Christ. He's coming like the wind of heaven. Glory to God. For we are called before the purpose and the plan of God. That when we speak out of the house of God. And our body is the temple of the most high God through Jesus Christ. Alone we speak the word of faith. For the faith we're speaking of no man's ever known. Nor ever heard the words we've ever said. But the word inscripted in the word of God. Hidden in Christ for the full measure of time to be. As God says you open up your mouth with a mighty degree. I fill it up and all I shall see. I am the word of the living father. Of the breath of the living son. And if you speak my word by my spirit. Son of the living God. I'm a child of the word of God built off the foundation of this world before time ever once was. I believe fully in Jesus Christ alone set us all free by his blood. He's God. He is God the Father's son. And I tell you now, you can be coming against his name. You can come against the Father. You can do all those things, but I wouldn't touch the Holy Ghost. Don't mess with the Spirit of God. You can curse the Father. You can curse the Son, but don't curse your spirit, glory to God. For you are given account now for every word you speak and have ever said in your life, not knowing, but when you know that you know that you know who God is. And only when you know, how can you point your finger at another? For we all sinned according to the scriptures. We all sin according to the old law. But thank God that the new Christ King, the anointed one son, gave you new breath and a life to choose Jesus Christ. For if we choose Jesus Christ above all things, and order to the order of the court, to order the court of the King Melchizedek, who God chose before the foundation of the word, King Jesus, is every word we speak and every life we know, and every time period and position from the first Adam to the last Adam of every man, of every man, of every woman, of every child, there could not be anybody without God's breath in them. Those who breathe now louder and sing together with God in the Spirit, our spirit being born again, every man born into this world, into the life of Christ, in the bosom of God, in the mind of the Spirit, knowing that the same way Jesus was born, planted in the Word, in the earth. Your body represents the earth, by the way. And the earth, like a woman, is screaming out from your inner workings of the power of the Spirit. As God has His Spirit in you, you hear God. 
You hear the word of God in you, for the same spirit in me speaks to your spirit. Your spirit already knows the truth. For through Jesus Christ alone, we were all saved by grace on the cross of Calvary where we died together with God the Son and now God the Father. Well, please, that if you put your faith in Jesus, only in Jesus Christ alone on which I stand, all other ground has been falling back down. All other ground is sinking sand. But we're built off the solid rock of the foundation of the Word of God by the solid rock of the man of God who is Jesus Christ, Son of God, only through the Virgin Mary. Isn't that scary? And we come together in the spirit by the Christ King and the love of God. But we love everybody that is somebody that could be anybody because I ain't anybody got a body unless a man and a woman, a man sowing seed and a woman. That's how your body got here. But the one that gave you breath from the very beginning of time has your blow, you blow your mind. The mind of understanding by the wisdom of God, we all have the same spirit of the only spirit that once was and still is alive. For Jesus Christ defeated the devil and everything about your life. You got to shake yourself loose. You got to shake death off you as fast as you can and shed that skin, brothers and sisters. You better shake that dust off and quit lying to yourself. We were saved by the blood of the Lamb before there ever once was. God still is. For through the Word of God, we now speak the Son of the life of the Spirit of the Father God of the Word of God. Now speaking with the Word of God as we've been given the words to speak by the same Spirit of the eternal Spirit of the Father God now here right here in the earth, upon the earth, upon heavens here right now speaking. If you can't hear God, the Spirit of God, and the Father God, of the Word of God, through the Son of God and the life of the Christ King and the only one Son already in you, then you lying. To yourself, what world you think you live in? What, what earth you think we're a part of? Now, I saw in a vision, this earth was burning with fire and those that didn't know God through Jesus alone. Saved by the grace of God as he already gave you the ghost. Before you was ever born, you came in here with God's spirit. You going back to the ground and you will give an account for the spirit what God revealed unto you while you were here. And if God starts revealing the greater works of Jesus, the more the poor. I'm telling you right now, if you check my bank account, it is in the red. But I am blood washed by the red of the Christ, the cost of living. For it cost Jesus his life to me to have his life. And my life is his life and his life is my life. Speaking only by the only truth of the water of life, by the grace of God, I ask not one nickel from you. Not a nickel nor a pickle. But if you hear these words, most of you already left because you can't handle the word of truth. You don't like to hear the truth. You only want to have your kingdom. But I come to tell you, I'm, like, I'm knocking on your door now, man of God. If you don't open up them gates and give me your phone, give me that microphone to ring the tone of the Christ King and the sound of God, God's going to blow your house down like a little piggy. For you are the son of Satan, preaching false doctrine for decades, and all y'all still going down to the graveyard singing. We will not fall short any longer, for God gave me a vision of the future hope of us children on the earth, representing all of heaven and the earth, by the seed of the Son of Jesus and the peace of God. He promised us we will not even understand nor see the fire, for the fire of the baptism of Jesus is the water of life. And when the fire comes down from heaven, and it's coming, and from the midst of the ground of the earth, it's already trembling. The earth without form and void and darkness. You see, Revelation's talking about the birthing of Jesus. In the last chapter, it's talking about when the seed was planted into Mary, the tree of life, and on the river of God in the streets of gold down the midst of her. How did God get in her? For through the earth He came from the midst of her. At the word of the seed that God planted in the earth, the last Adam, you understand? For He, he made the first man from the dust of the top of the ground. But out from the midst of the ground is the second. It's the twin. It's the twin. Say the twin. There's a pastor with twins out here. You know who you are. You know who you are. You got a male and a female. Who was born first and last? Who come out first? Who come out last? They both blessed. For the first and the last are the same now. For Jesus defeated Satan in the grave. He overcame all things for all mankind to know him only by the Spirit of Jesus Christ's Spirit and His Spirit, by the Father's Spirit and the Holy Spirit who is here right now in you speaking. So if you hear the word of faith by the faith of the Spirit of the Father God, of the Word of God and the Son of God already here and you already know where you're going. And you try to take my head off right now. You go ahead. I'm ready. I've already died with Jesus. I won't even see a second death. I've been judged in Him. For my judgment come from the blood of the Lamb of God chosen before the foundation of this world to speak things your mind can't comprehend. And that's why ain't nobody staying here around me. I follow only Jesus. But those who can hear the Word of God will meet me pretty soon as we're going to build the foundation of the Word of God in the same spirit of the body of God and all of you right now knowing the truth of your Holy Spirit. For your spirit's always had God. And you know it's true. I come to preach something that you ain't never heard. It's going to make them squirm. 
They're going to grit their teeth. They're going to gnash their teeth and say, Crucify Him. For He thinks He knows it all. <laughs> I do. I know the one and only. I know the way of salvation. I know the way to heaven. And I know how to hear from God. And I can see heaven on the earth as it already is. And today's the day of the foundation that God said that if, you, if you'll be one man by one son, chosen by one life, by one spirit and one death, you'll never taste death, my son. You won't even see it. For you have fought death so many times with me. I've had the sword of the spirit in my hand. But you couldn't see it, what I'm fighting today. I fight Satan every day, trying to rob my children, trying to take my wife away from me, trying to put me down, trying to put me down in that graveyard, trying to tell me, kill yourself, you're no good, you got no money. They don't even love you. They hate you. If you bow your knee to me, I'll give you all the money in this world. I'll give you the biggest house and dream. You'll, play, you'll be the number one star like Tiger Woods. I said, burn it down. I received my crown. Get behind me, Satan. Do not tempt the Lord thy God, the word. I come here with nothing. I shall leave with nothing. And I have everything I ever would need. I have eternal life with Jesus. The peace that surpasses all carnal-minded understanding. To know your eternal spirit together with the Father of the Word of God is the same Holy Spirit of the seed of God. Now the harvest of King Jesus is here as we resist the devil and he must flee. If you got things, you got things of the earth, <laughs> you got bank accounts of your work, your work is no good. For you've done well and good for you. Go to the yard. Go on down to the graveyard and leave it behind. I'm about to scoop it up. For what God has left behind for the children of the resurrected power of God, we shall stand together through God himself as the word of God is standing. I stand on the word of God. I preach by the Holy Spirit, who is God the Father of God the Son, by the blood sacrifice of God's own blood. I believe in Jesus Christ alone above my own life by my own self-righteousness. And if I speak the word of faith by the faith of the Son, of the power of God, of the resurrected power of the word of God and the life of the Father, of the Spirit of God, unified in all of us now, we're the last generation who will stand on God's word perfectly. And there'll just be just a little bitty, tiny, bitty piece of us that'll still be human. And we will conquer the world. For we will never die. We would just die with Jesus. And all the rest of them, they're about to fall so fast. Time itself is being swallowed up. For we come from the mind of the Father, the mind of the Son, and the river of life. For the kingdom of the heavens and the earth belong to God's children. And if I be a child of God as the Son of God is, standing up for me, before the father of the curse, as his other son, hates me. But I refuse to bow my knee to death. I refuse to die. I shall stand and see the glorification of God's word and the manifestation of his kingdom on the earth, just as he is in heaven. For I only believe the word I know through Jesus and the word I speak with his father and the spirit I know of my eternified glory as the seven sons of Sceva and the seven days and the seven nights of the seven spirits of God are circling the earth today. But there's only one spirit in his kingdom. As the old world order is being destroyed, even as we speak, this earth is crying out, shaking, and the hills are running forth, and the mountains are screaming. But those who know the word of faith by the Son of God understand the scriptures to unveil before your very eyes God's word. For the new birthings are already here. And just as in Revelation 22, read it yourself. Go read it. You'll understand these things I'm saying. For only the Spirit of the Father God reveals the truth of the Word of God by the living Spirit of the Most High God. And your name is written in there. You'll find it. 
But if you'll help me build the church that we will all gather together in the spirit and on the earth and in a place and a position. If you'll sow seed into the kingdom of God as the kingdom of God has already been. And is forming in our mouth as we speak the eternal glorification of God's word as we speak by the same spirit in each other. As we join heirs together with Jesus, co-heirs in Christ, we are going to destroy the temple preachers standing on their pedestals. As I humble myself in the sight of God and the Father, the Word of God, by the same Spirit of the Most High God in Jesus, I humble myself as a man, chosen before time itself of the same mind and spirit of the body of Jesus, for the body of Christ and the mind of Christ and the Spirit of the Holy One. And we show forth our work by standing on God's Word, preaching God's Word above anything and everything, no matter what. So if you want to rob my riches, take my money as a thief. I found the thief of the old covenant doctrine of teachers and preachers trying to tell you that Jesus' blood didn't work. For through the blood of the Lamb of God, we've all been saved in Jesus. And Jesus is sitting, interceding, placing us into the divine connection by the Spirit of God already in us. For we've all received the breath of life to speak and teach the same words I'm speaking and teaching right now by the same Spirit in you, same Holy Spirit in me. For all, when we came into this world naked, we shall leave. We brought nothing with us, and we shall leave with nothing with us in this world. For those who will believe in Jesus, only in Jesus, you have the Father's breath and the promises of God and Abraham, for you won't even taste death. You will see those who have died before you, standing around you now in the great cloud of witnesses listening, as we sing together with Jesus, as we gather together God's people who are alive and remaining on the earth, to understand these things I'm saying is only by the Holy Spirit who's been born again in you. Same Spirit of Jesus, same Holy Spirit of His Father, is alive in your spirit unified. So if you bear witness that your spirit is an eternal spirit with the Father before you go down to the graveyard and meet judgment, and God asks you, do you know me? Or do I know you? For we know the Word of God. For the Word written is the Son of God, and the Son of God is the Word of God of the life of the Father God of the Word of God by the same Spirit. Now the author, the finisher of our faith is Jesus Christ, and Jesus is the Word of the Father by the same Spirit in our life. For our spirit now testifying of the world to come, and God says, I am coming to burn it down, so you can go into the new world of the life of the Spirit. For the same Spirit that once was still is alive in us, and God has fulfilled His Word through Jesus alone. And Jesus is the word of Christ King, the anointed one Son, gives us the breath of the Father, of the same Spirit, of the mind of Adam. So Adam is the last Adam standing on the earth in Jesus Christ alone, setting the Adam of the death man free. For my natural man is a carnal, wicked man. And I'm two men and one man. Understand? I'm either walking in the spirit of my new man, my spirit man, or my flesh man. Now, as my flesh man is trying to conquer my spirit man, I'm at war within myself, battling myself. Now, who is alive? Well, I believe in Jesus. He's more alive in me than I am in myself. Therefore, my flesh is crucified to me and given unto God as he died in his flesh for me to be crucified together with him on the day God came and gave birth to Jesus through the Virgin Mary in the same way by the word of God already in me. For God planted his seed in Mary in the earth, and my, my body of the earth, and the outer man represents the earth and the fullness thereof as God created us in the first Adam. But through the last Adam, you got to see he comes out from within you and me for the word of God's already in you and me by the spirit. That's how we speak the same word of the Spirit of God already in us speaking. For God speaks His word right out of our mouth. Our mouth is full of the Spirit of God. And only by the witness of God do we speak. Now who can bear witness with me right now that I'm only speaking the written scripture lands the book of life through Jesus. And I can do all things through Christ. The anointed one gives me the breath of the Father God of the word of God. Set me free from the devil. I'm a flesh man and my flesh mind. As I understand these things, I only preach by the water of life baptized by Jesus. Now the fire of God is upon us. That's the love of God in our heart. That our heart of stone, our heart of flesh is transformed to the mind of the Spirit of the Father God, of the Word of God, of the Son of God, in Christ Jesus. Therefore, our spirit being eternal spirit with God of the Father, who once was and still is the Word of God. For the Word of God is the life of the Son of God and the life of the Father through the Spirit. Therefore, our spirit testifying of the things to come, you already start seeing your future hope. You've got to give you a glimpse of your future, standing in the heavenly places as the earth burns down. As he'll resurrect you up by the water of life, just as the rain comes down from heavens and as the Word comes, it does not return void, the condensation of the Word, but fire is coming. And that's a promise of God. So if you're already baptized by the baptism of Jesus, which is the fire of God, he'll water you with a plant of life, and you won't even see it. For you'll stand here on the earth, as it is now in heaven. Those that don't know God, you judge yourself by your own words. When you come against a man of God preaching, you curse yourself. I just preach the truth, nothing but the truth, so help me, Holy Spirit. And God says, today you will build a church. 
you will have the place I've given you on the earth and in heaven. As I stamp my sword out of my mouth, and I reach it up right now, and I pull it out by the word of God. And I put on the blessed breastplate of righteousness. I shod my feet with the word of God. Those who preach how beautiful are the feet, if you see my outer feet, you don't want to see them. But my inner man is shining with the glory of God, and I am slaying demons left and right more than you can even know. For the devil's tried to kill me so many times, even my children. I told my wife, have peace, just give it to God today. Don't worry about these bills. But if I fall, I fall by the sword of my own mouth. So I don't only speak the word I know by the Holy Spirit, and I trust God above myself. I place Jesus Christ above my head, as he's the crown of my glory. And I'll tell every man, woman, and child, it doesn't matter. I will preach the gospel of Jesus Christ until you pry this thing out of my hand. I come to slay them all. My flesh, man, is dead. My old man is dead. My new man is Christ, the body of God, the Father God, planted in the seed of time. I saw fire like the stars coming down, burning everybody. I began to weep and cry. God said, it's okay, son, I've got you. Open up your mouth. Is there one righteous man standing on the ground? I said, yes, God, there is. He said, you're fine. But don't you dare turn your back around. Don't you dare let anybody take your crown. You better fight for it as hard as you can. For the day you die, I am. If you can understand these things pertaining to the kingdom of God. For the word of God is the life of the spirit. And the word of God is forming. As the end of Revelations is the last book in the Bible that begins the first book of Genesis. God says, here we go again. When God, the earth was without form and void and darkness was on the place of the people. And the people were sleeping men with men. And the carnal things, the lust of the pride of life and the money changers. As they built their kingdoms and they thought they were good. But God says that man's no good. For I'm only God of the good Christ, the king of the tree of life. And if you come out of the midst of you right now to see as I am, just as my son came out of the Virgin Mary, he is the tree on which I stand. For out of the midst of her in 12 months, out of the incubator of the word of God within the earth, God sown his seed, the son of man. For he is the son of the Christ King, anointed one, as we are now. We are two men of the mind of the flesh, of the mind of God, of the same Spirit speaking. Therefore, if you walk in the fullness of time where the Spirit of God once was and alive in you now, you only speak the word you know by your spirit and not your natural man. For your natural man is wicked, trying to curse your spirit man with Christ Jesus. For Christ Jesus fulfilled all things, gave you the breath of the Father, of the mind of the body, of the body of the Father, fully in the spirit, of the living spirit, of the eternal spirit, of the kingdom of God within you now. But the kingdom of heaven has to come down and crown your head. Therefore now, which life do you want to live now? I live the life of Jesus before the foundation of the world. To speak the things to come, for the things coming is hell. And death is knocking at your door. Are you going to let Satan in? I refuse to open up my door to death. I refuse to give him my breath. For the breath I have received comes from heaven. Of the first word and the only last word and the last man standing. Of the word of God speaking by the power of God talking. And God's promises are yes and amen fulfilled through Jesus Christ alone. So if I preach any other name above any name of any man of anything, I preach in Jesus' name and the Father's name and the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, my spirit and your spirit together with God. And I come to preach these things pertaining to the kingdom of God within you. For the kingdom of heaven is coming down. And God's coming to crown you with the head of righteousness as he crowns your head with the seven stars. For the seven sons of the seven spirit that God said created the seven days. But God said it's a new day now. As you'll see the eternal heaven, you can already crown. That means you get new birth as you're a new baby. As I'm a baby in Christ, speaking by the same spirit once was, still is God. God said I created everything you can see by the power of my mouth. And you tell him I'm coming, my son. And he's coming with fire and healing in his hands. And the tree of the leaves of the nations of the tree of life. For out of the womb of Mary came the seed of the Son of God, who has already been placed in us by the Spirit of the Word of God speaking. So the harvest of the kingdom is already here. I plead the blood of the Lamb, sprinkled by the blood of God, 
by the mountaintop of the fire god and the water of grace and the hills and the sound and the sound and the singing and the preaching and the teaching. If you can't understand these things, follow me as I follow Jesus. I lay my life down. My flesh burns by the glory of God. It belongs to the Father of the Word of God. For my body is the body of the Father of the Son of God, by the same Spirit who is God. And if I say anything else to you that is contradicting God's Word, when I'm anointed to preach and I'm standing, there's a time to sit and there's a time to stand. And when God says it's time now, have you lost everything that you've ever had but me? I stand on the Word of God. And I believe in the Father of the Son of the Seed and the harvest of King Jesus now. And if you hear me, if you're still around, which I'm pretty sure not many are, for they hate the words I speak and the words I know. But the words I now speak and the words I now know, I'm born again by the Word of the Living Spirit of the Father God of the same seed he sowed in the Virgin Mary, for I am planted and rooted in the foundation of the Word of God, for the resurrected power of the Spirit of God is alive speaking right now in my mouth. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, the power of God and the salvation in the hearts of all men and women, as I speak nothing but the truth, so help me, Father God, for the living Spirit of the Son of God is alive fully in all of us now speaking. If you want to join me and preach nothing but the truth by the same Spirit in me, for I see in you the same light as I look at everybody. Now, not all can see the light of God, and I will look at some of you, you're dark. Some of you are dark because you don't know God. You can only know God the Father and the Son by the Spirit of God and the light of God in you. So it's time to turn your light on. If you hear these words, let your spirit awake. For the spirit of the Son of God is in you now, just as he planted the seed in Mary. For Mary had her period as a woman does every 12 months. And if you read Revelations 22 with understanding, it only goes to verse 21. But God says, I'm about to do the double doors of 22, 22 and start it all over again, my friend. For I'm a friend that sits closer than a brother. I'm above your mother and your father. I'm above all things and within all things, all things to be made known. I'm your spirit now, son. As I have the spirit of the Father of the Word of God and the Holy Spirit of the Son of God, who died on the cross in the rugged tree of the cross at Calvary, that when I start speaking by the wood of God and my body represents the house of God, and the house of the temple of the Most High God, that the Spirit of the Father of the Word of God and the Son of God in agreement with God. For God's already coming in the midst of those just as He came out of the Virgin Mary. For I'm a man of God, and I speak by the same Holy Spirit of the seed of God, implanted in my spirit to teach you the truth, nothing but God, of the heavenly places of the kingdom of God. And the kingdom of God is here. Just as John the Baptist preacher coming of the soon coming of the kingdom of God, Jesus is coming very soon, for he's already here in the spirit, preaching and teaching out the mouth of the man of God, preaching and teaching by the faith of the Father God. For the faith of the Father and the Son of the same spirit is speaking right now and warning you right now, line yourself up with the man of God preaching. For he is broke and he has gave his life fully to the preaching. And those who want to hear the preaching and the teaching of the correct word of God you don't follow me. We all follow Jesus. For we are unified together by the same Spirit of the Most High God, and not one of us is above or beneath another. Whether you have money or not, whether you have riches and fame as the Kardashians, or you are a broke nigga, I'm a white man trapped in a black man's body, and I'm no slave to man or sin. But I'm a slave to the word of God, the power of the resurrected power of the spirit of God. And I come to get every black man and white man together. And every Jew and Gentile. I come to preach by the fire of God's spirit. But my spirit's burning with the flame of the house of grace. And the house of David. And the house of Jesse. And the house of Jesus Christ built in my life. I'm built by God. And the man speaking above Satan himself. Die glory to God. Who will follow God? 
We follow Jesus to the grave. Hallelujah. And every breath we breathe from this day forward, we speak by the riches of the glorification of the word who is my place in heavenly places. I stamp my name in heaven. If you are man above me, you will be slain for this generation with me in this day to come is the Christ King anointed one son for we have the spirit of the glorification of the father of the word and the same spirit speaking louder than you've ever known I'm wild I'm a wild like Jesse's name I'm wild like King David I come to dance the streets of gold for out of the midst of the woman come the seed of the man now for out of the midst of all God's children we speak by the spirit of the unified voice of God God the Father, God the Son, and the Word of God being alive in our spirit at the same time when God appears in the mouth of men, preaching and teaching the Word of faith by the faith of the Son of Man and by the Father of the Word of God, we are alive in the Spirit of the Most High God, preaching nothing but the truth, so help us, Holy Spirit, who is God. And my innermost man, preaching and teaching by outer man, is thine, but my inner man is alive by the Spirit of the water of life, and our outer man is burning like fire like brimstone I come to curse the earth and manifest heaven on the dirt that God breathed in as the breath of God's are here again speaking out of the midst of the man speaking by the woman of time as God planted his seed in the virgin Mary I'm the virgin man born again through Christ Jesus alone singing the sound of the song of God and the river of life of the Maranatha and the rivers of life speaking by the water of graves we here to stay baby fresh fire hallelujah I give you praise God your word is a fire shut up in my bones. I'm a bone of your bone, flesh of your flesh, God. I burn with the glorification of God's word upon my skin. I burn my old house down, my outer man, and the new house that you built on the foundation of the blood of the man of the sand of time. I speak by the spirit glorifying. Woo, glory to God. Let the streets of gold manifest now. Hallelujah, we come to walk around. Get every man, woman, and child. Escape goat by the house of the blood of lamb. We speak the truth, nothing but the truth, so help a spirit of man. Spirit of the host of the most high God in Jesus. Yes, we can. We can do all things with the Father God, the Word of God, the Son of God, Spirit of God, speaking out of our mouth. With the sounds of the river of God, by the river of Christ, King, nor the one Son. We speak by the same glorified spirit of the born again ones. We speak male, female, like bed, but that day, day we, we identify with the Word of God, of the written scripts of the Lamb of God slain. By his birth and his life now born again by our life, born again, speaking his word by his blood, his life, his body, can't you see? With the life of the family tree, with the trees of life, grace, grace of the leaves, healing, living nations, made my mind, spirit, one spirit, preaching out of all of our minds, all of our spirits, born again by the word of God. You hear God out of your breath. Just seek God, fresh fire.